Mr. Beast, $10,000 every day you survive in a grocery store. Spot this entire grocery store, which includes enough food to literally feed an entire city. And then I decided to trap this random guy inside. And every day you live here, I will give you $10,000 in a grocery cart. That's wild, dude. Let's yes. go. Well, I'll give it to you in 24 hours. Oh, okay. This challenge could <laughs> literally make Alex a multi-millionaire, which in theory means he could be in here for years. And it starts right now. All right, Jimmy's gone. <laughs> Why would I ever leave? I could be here for years. Time to go grocery shopping, baby. Now, if Alex crosses this red line that we painted around the entire perimeter of the grocery store, the challenge is over and he walks away with his current winnings. And to make sure he stays inside, it's worth noting here that we have countless cameras covering every square inch of the grocery store. For my first meal on night one, I guess I'll cook the steak. I think this is just gonna be home base, this little corner of the grocery store. If I have meals like this every night, I'll easily be here for years. Day one come. I will easily be here for years. Chat, how long would you last? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm out there in like probably a month. A month, a month is how much? 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. It's a lot, bro. Complete. See you in the morning. It has officially been 24 hours and I got the first 10 grand. Alex! Hey! Can you feel this and confirm it's $10,000? Um, it is. It I is. believe you. Now we introduce the That's twist 300, to the challenge. 000. Basically, to receive the daily $10,000. Wait, hold on. This nigga basically gave him like a three and a half million dollar year contract to be a prisoner to a grocery store. Yo, wouldn't this be like a very sad story if this nigga just started binging a lot of food and then gained a fuck ton of weight? And then by the time he left, like a year from now, he was like double the weight he was before. But at least he had 300 like $3 million to show for it type shit. Yo, that would be, they would hate Mr. Beast if that happened. <laughs> but he's 10 times richer. It's just, yo, it's pros and cons. Now he has money to afford a trader. You need to give me $10,000 in product from the store. And so you have to strategize what order to get rid of these items to stay here as long as possible. Oh, wow, okay. Conveniently, there's a lot of electronics over there that are pretty expensive for day one. That's probably a good idea. I can't really eat a TV, so it's no use to me. You're 22 cents over. All right, let me check out. Do you have an MVP card? No. Would you Wait, you have to do what? So you have to strategize what order. Now we introduce the twist of the challenge. Basically, to receive the daily $10,000, you need to give me $10,000 in product from the store. And so you have to strategize what order to get rid of these items to stay here as long as possible. Cook. Oh. I'm sorry, I saw the chips and I, I'm on oh God, I saw the chips and I started losing focus. I was like, damn, I like those women. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Conveniently, there's a lot of electronics over there that are pretty expensive for day one. That's probably a good idea. I can't really eat a TV, so it's no use to me. You're 22 cents over. All right, let me check out. Do you have an MVP card? No. Would you like one? No. Do you want to sign up no. for <laughs> Here's your cash. Chris, take it away. Beep, beep. I will see you tomorrow with another $10,000 in cash. You should start strategizing what you're going to sell me. This changes everything. I got to start strategizing for the future. I have to figure out Bro, all this would the be stuff so boring. that I need to get rid of. Pet food, pet items. Jimmy could not pay me to eat this stuff. I swear. I got $10,000 worth of dog food right here. I think I'm just going to get some rest, wake up early, because I'm going to have to prep more items tomorrow. I got a lot of work ahead of me. Hey, you have all day. You don't Alex. have a job. What's up, Jimmy? Oh, hey. Is that what you're selling to me today? Today, it's dog food. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take us forever to move. Wait, can we do like a... I'll let him clap transition, go for it. <laughs> there we go. It's all over here at the register. Isn't that a cool effect? I love beast magic. We're at $9,991.80. And for the final item, we are now at $10,000. And $45. And something you should know. Every single item no. Alex sells to me, we are literally going to donate to charity. So don't worry, none of Man, this is going to go to waste. What? The next few days were kind of a breeze for Alex. On day five, he sold me $10,000 worth of produce. All this produce here, they're going to go bad very fast. On day six, he sold me a bunch of diapers. And on day seven, eight, and nine, he cleared out an additional $30,000 worth of products. He even discovered the back room of the store. And since he hasn't showered in 10 days, he built his very own makeshift shower. Um, Ba -bum. And laundry system. Rub a dub dub. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Jimmy? All right, as of now, give me an honest answer. You didn't shower in how long? Go. Oh, I mean, I feel like 100 days for sure. Oh, boy. Depending on how long Alex lasts, this may just become my most expensive video ever. But I'm prepared for that. <laughs>
Money, money, money all the time. Holy crap, dude. Yo, this nigga is so rich. Here. I got the money. Bro, someone... <laughs> Hey, 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 this nigga crazy. This is how strip clubs are at the end of the night, though. <laughs> Bro. Mr. Reese, you're a funny guy, man. You're a very funny guy. You know that? Who put all this in here is what I want to know. The bank. You will get this once I get my $10,000 in items. All right, today I have more TVs. Who goes to a grocery store to buy a TV? Why That's are these here? Great question. Now, Alex, be honest with me. Did you empty Walmart, out any of these TV boxes, fill them with rocks, and keep the TV? Uh, dogs. All right, I trust them, even though that was not what I was asking. <laughs> Nigga's losing his mind. Approaching day 11, Alex began to get pretty efficient at picking which items to sell. $10,001.89. And since I had to leave to go film a video where I stranded myself on an island, this is not comfortable, but let's pray we get like 30 minutes of sleep tonight. We had someone else drop off the money for Alex. We call him the money man. Oh, it's the money man. Thank you, sir. A hundred thousand dollars. I could definitely reach a million. And what he did with the rest of his time to keep himself entertained was interesting. I am building a cheese ball wall. It's done. The great wall of cheese balls. Oh yeah, baby, here we go. Three, two, one. It was worth it. It was so worth it. On day 13, Alex decided to upgrade his shower because it's a piece of crap. What I'm gonna do is use four of these shelves to reinforce the shower. Okay, here we go. I think I'm about to build a shower. Ah! Dumbass. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm gonna use plastic liner. Drape it across here. The walls are waterproof now. All right, you gotta give it to him. This man is literally constructing a functioning shower out of just raw store parts. Damn, there it is. Shower's done. Time to test it. Yo! Okay, it's been a few days in here. I'm gonna build a wall. Now, I never thought I'd see this, but Alex literally used all the water bottles in the entire store to build walls for his makeshift shelter. He even created a bed using all of the toilet paper, and it looked kind of comfortable. This is pretty cozy. I fall asleep right here. <laughs> hey, I guess when you're spending all day in a grocery store, there's not shit else to do. I gotta get the scan in. Kinda had my eyes on these bad boys for a while gift cards. These things are freaking expensive. It is actually surprising how expensive birthday cards are because Alex was able to hit his $10,000 mark only using the cards. And after I got back from filming at the island, oh, hey, hey it's, it's been a while. Alex went to see if we could help him use the forklift in the back of the store. You know, if you could get it in the store, that'd be super helpful. You're sure you're going to let Chris drive this? Yeah. Hey. All right. Not the bakery! Enjoy your forklift. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Even though it's only been a day since he last saw me, it seemed like Alex really started to miss me. At least I, that's the only explanation I have I for what he's about walls, to do. So I saw this cut out shit. of Jimmy over here. We're going to be hanging out a lot, you and I. He's just going to watch, make sure I don't lose count. He's just almost at 200000 away for another 10K. $10,000, 33 cents. You gave all the deodorant away? Hey, I hope we kept a couple for himself, man. And go away for another 10K. $10,000.33. Over the next few days, Alex's efficiency was through the roof thanks to his new forklift. So he even had enough time to upgrade his bed. And it was quite the improvement. This is so much better. Oh, that's calm. And even though Alex's original goal was to get a million dollars, I think we're going for a mil on this one. I hope not. He started documenting <laughs> what he'd spend the money on and came to realize maybe he didn't need to stay as long as he thought. A million dollars what? is nice in theory. I'm still missing out time with my boys. Both their birthdays are coming up in the next two months. I've never missed a birthday yet. So after thinking about what I want to put the money toward, I realized that I need to at least 25K vacation, 130K house, 6K debt?
50k car, you know what I'm saying? Get you a little M4, feel me? For the family, of course. 100k on a business, 75k savings, 60k college. I be trying to tell y'all niggas, college is a scam, bro. Literally, bro. Most of the time, not all the time. Tough. This this feels like responsible though. A lot of niggas would have just went straight to uh Bali with all this bread, bro. Ball the fuck out, man. This is like a responsible nigga making decisions right here with money. Good for him. East make five hundred thousand dollars, but right now I only have two hundred. So in total, I got fifty days. I gotta be in here. Almost halfway there. Un Yo, he even set it up like this. He said this money's for a car. I got 50 days, I gotta be in here, almost halfway there. What does that say? Does it say house? That's house money? On day 22, Alex decided to absolutely decimate all the goldfish in That's the grocery store. Fuck. Oh my god! Okay, so this is $10,000 worth of goldfish. I could feed an army of toddlers. All right, thank you, sir. You're living a regular life now, almost. You're getting paid 10 grand a day to miss your family. Yeah. Yeah. And you can just do this however long you want. Yeah. And you can just I'm be honest, it just depends on how you frame it, bro. You just have to frame it like I'm in prison, except I'm get to make $10,000 a day in this prison. And if you think about it like that, you'll be fine, bro. Okay? But if you think about it like, damn, I can leave whenever I want. How long should I stay? You're definitely going to leave, bro. Like, technically, you are locked inside here, but there's hell is bo. Yes, I'm telling you. Like, you have to think, it's 10K a day, my nigga. When else are you going to get that opportunity? When else? Think about like if you left it, if you left here right now and you went to As work, you can see, how much the would you have to work to get blending to 10K? together for How hours. many days would you have to work? But eventually the day came where he decided to sell the water that he originally used for his shelter. But since he couldn't sell the empty shelves in the store, he realized they make pretty good walls. I'm gonna reinforce the house with metal shelves. This oh. is the way. As you can see, Alex is feeling pretty at home now. But what he doesn't know is when I bought this grocery store, I stopped paying the electricity bill. So at any point now, all the power is going to cut off and his freezers won't work, the lights won't work, and so much more. The challenge is going to get way harder. But to give him some motivation before things get pretty crazy. We thought Alex deserved a reward. Are you excited to see your dad? Aww. You ready to do this? Yeah. I think he might literally cry. This is going to be crazy. Oh my god. Okay, okay Alex, we have a surprise for you. Hello. We brought oh, some I'm special funny. guests. Hi, buddy. Yesterday, you were telling me about how much you miss your family. Daddy I smells. Kind of bad. So to celebrate 30 days, we're going <laughs> to let you spend the day with them. Is that Daddy? What are you doing? I need to go pee. <laughs> What's happening with all the boxes on the floor? I made a race car track. Oh, is that the car? <laughs> yeah. Wait, can he ride that? <laughs> what do you think, dude? <laughs> Here they are! Gucci! Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys are here. Today I got to see Sarah and the boys. It was freaking amazing. And Sarah was as beautiful as ever. I love you. Bye, buddy. I love you. Heart break. She didn't when give I a saw my kids, I mean, they, like, looked different to me. You know, at that age, they grow weekly. I just look forward to going back home, spending time 10K, with 10K, bro. Lock in, job's not done. 10K, What's that's 300,000. I better get up 300, start scanning stuff now. We're gonna... What the He's heck? He's so close. Why are the lights off? He's so close. are these shenanigans? He's close. Where's my flashlight? Is this some kind of joke? Houston, we have a problem. Did you do this, sir? <laughs> Knock, knock. Oh, wow. This is so much creepier. My power's out, Jimmy. Yes. So when I bought this grocery store, they gave me a form to put like the utilities in my name and I just never filled it out. <laughs> the cameras and cash registers <laughs> are hooked up to a generator hey, because we need those. So Jimmy, what am I looking at? they got you in collections, okay, nigga. You're so gonna have to pay that. I had that. originally $60,000 ready to go. Oh my gosh. But I assume now that the power went out, you're gonna sell the frozen stuff. Yeah, things have changed. We need to get the scan in. Let's get rid of these hot meats. Assembly line. All right, I'll hold the cart. Assembly line. I'm the door holder. And while they're clearing out the freezers, I want to tell you guys about Shopify. Shopify helped pay for this grocery store and in exchange wanted me to promote one of the millions of businesses they support in power. If only we had a bag that we could put these things in to keep it cold. And together we pick King. You know what I respect and appreciate? 
Like, Jimmy could have just made this, like, um, I don't know him. I'm sorry. That's like when niggas call me Dean. Mr. Beast could have just made this, like, a challenge where he's like, oh, now you got fucked. W twist. You feel me? But instead of wasting the food for a twist, he's like, are you going to donate this now, right? And he's just going to donate the frozen food. That's dope. That's awesome. Think of coolers, Chandler. What if I told you there's a 12-pack of soda inside of it? Whoa. And it can keep us inside cold up to seven hours. That's, That's a long forever. time. You got, got the best wieners, transition. You got single wieners. Cheesy. Cheesy wieners. Kanga coolers are lightweight and insulated, so you can take them Who the fuck is Jimmy? Hey, meet us at the front. <laughs> Chandler, have you ever been a cashier Yo. before? Yo. Wait, you Yo. double scan Yo. that. Hold up. You can have the Kanga cooler. You can fit a human head in here. Anyways, click the description down the shop app right now. You can buy by double cooler. Scanning. I'm going to go help them scan some meat. All right, here's our meat receipt. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your 10 grand. Also, here's a Kangoo cooler. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, Alex, I'm going to Africa for a week. At this point, I once again <laughs> had to leave to go film a video in Africa where I built 100 wells. Well, number one is this attack. Alex spent the rest of his day rushing to get all the frozen food sold so it could be donated. Because I'll just be scanning stuff in the dark from now on. Niggas giving really away the chips? Jimmy turns the power on. It's gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie, being left without power affected Alex way more than I thought it would. I guess the food wasn't the only thing getting checked out. Ah. What if you can tip over a forklift? Oh! Careful on aisle seven. What the fuck? Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Store is turning into a wasteland. Yo, Sunbad, welcome back. Comment, welcome back. back. D's, welcome back. Gaming, welcome. This dock door. Unwax, and welcome. Let some daylight hit my face. Breathe in some fresh air, because this is not going to do it. Oh, it's so nice. This right here will get me through the dark days. It is day 36. I got 360 thousand dollars why stop now got to keep loading these carts up got a lot of food to get through just carts and pools of money and waiting waiting for the days to go by the most exciting part of my day is being this close to the red line i'm just a sad Yo, that's, that's old like that's too boy tempting bro i'm not gonna there. lie nothing's ever been sadder in my life except Living in a grocery store, coffee, food, and a lot of money. I'm like way ahead on checkouts still. I don't want to do anything. There's nothing to do. All that stands between me, my wife, my kids is this line right here. Lights being off, being this close to the red line, realizing I can go see my family. It's super tempting every oh, day now. This nigga goes trip. Mm. There's a bunch of pallets back there still that I haven't even dug into. Some glasses, ice packs. Oh, what the? <laughs> Look what I just found. Insta Start Quick Pack Lantern. Nice. I got five of them. I just lit them all up. They're on full blast right now. It definitely lights up the entire space really well. I feel like I can actually like hang out <laughs> in here again. <laughs> 390,000. Oh, here. Yo! Another 10K? Yeah. Let's go, dude. It's crazy I have all this money, but there's nothing I can do with this money while I'm in here, except just look at it. Well, you can't look at it, it's so dark in here. <laughs> so, I'm gonna bring some lights in. Are you serious? For filming purposes. All right. What are you gonna do for the rest of the time you're in here? Something I definitely wanna do is go ahead and just run through all these shells with the forklift. Oh. <laughs> going on all right time for me to not be here anymore we'll see you tomorrow here's your broom thanks guys enjoy cleaning after spending an entire day cleaning up chris's mess alice took advantage of the newly opened space to set up a pool he found in the back off we Yo! go <laughs> I'm gonna drag the hose out here, yes, it is stick not it in this up. pool, and sometime tomorrow we'll have a grocery swimming pool. It's been over a week and Chandler won't tell me what happened while I was gone. This place looks completely different. Oh god, open the doors, I gotta see this. Whoa! Where did everything go? We uh, did a little remodeling while you were gone. This looks like someone gave Chris a forklift. Everything makes sense now. Do you wear socks? Yeah. <laughs> That's <You> crazy. <laughs> Get it off! Ah! What do you typically do in the pool? 
I just kind of float around. This was fun and all, but I think we should check out. Thanks for the groceries. <laughs> Enjoy your pool. All right, I'm just gonna grab everything from the back and just put it up here, organize it, and who knows, maybe there's something fun Look, in there's, there. It's, there's only so many days he can stay anyway because how many more $10,000 worth of stuff can he even give away? He's cooked. I don't even think he could do more than like 50 days max, which would be $500,000. It's no secret at this point, Alex was pretty tired. And while he was making his rounds in the forklift, right. something Scrap unexpected metal. happened. Oh, crap! Oh, no! No! Oh, God! Oh, dude! No! Oh, my God! I was trying to turn one way, and it just went the opposite direction. Oh my God, my freaking money is soaked. There's a bunch of product ruined. It's like so deep right here. It's in my space. It's all over the grocery <laughs> store. Dude, I'm done, man. Hey, nigga in the chat said W water park. <laughs> We're going in. Alex, buddy, yeah. why is it so wet in here? Yeah, ill. Yo. Oh, Alex, your golden chariot awaits you. <laughs> Oh, look at you in bed. You good, dog? I'm all right, man. You look like a defeated man. Yeah, I busted the pool. I just wouldn't bust a pool. So I was driving by to drop off some pallets, and I tried to turn, and it just turned the complete opposite way. And I was like, no! Oh, so all this got wet? How many more weeks do you have left? Weeks? <laughs> I'm just kind of taking it day by day right now. It depends how much longer I can go. So if you just see like a spider in your bed tomorrow, you're, you're leaving? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I don't think he has many days left. This is ending soon. Yeah. You guys want to come hang out for a little bit? Heck no. You're depressing. This is what the store looked like <laughs> when Alex started the challenge. And this is what it looks like now. Yo. So day 44. It's almost dark outside. Jimmy hasn't come by today. I have stuff I need to sell. I'm just gonna move this stuff to the back. Hopefully, somebody brings me the ten thousand dollars today. Maybe they just forgot. What if he or stays something. for a year? That's not possible because there's not a year's worth of stuff in there. It's really lonely in here. I'm just gonna, I guess, sit in my chair till they bring me some money. Yo, what? Are you serious? Damn, he can't even get human interaction, hey there, Jimmy. bro. This is the first interaction I get all day, and it's oh. the freaking robot. Oh. Thanks for the money. Not even Jimmy wants to come here for a minute. That's how depressing this place is now. Can't say I blame him, honestly. That's why, that's why this Robot sucks, Pussy man. will never be the same. It's, it's always better when a human drops off your money, bro. Stop pretending like I don't get what I mean, bro. Yo, what I said made perfect sense. God, I'm freaking miss my family so bad. It's day 45 and Chandler, how would you say he's doing? That is complete boredom. He's just tapping the bat on the ground. I would feel bad for him, except he's won $450,000. And he can leave whenever he wants. So he'll be fine. <laughs> Alex. Hey, we were watching you on the cameras. You looked very sad. Yeah, I'm pretty bored. Well, here's $10,000. So you less bored? Helps a little. How many weeks left you got? I don't even know if I got an hour left, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, really? Here, let's go look at your sea of money over here. This is all the money you've made so far. 450 grand. Are you saying you're content with it? <sighs> Give me one second. I've got a surprise that might help you decide. What? That was definitely serious. a voiceover, but okay. <laughs> Again. Hey, babe. What the heck? How many times does nigga gotta see his family, bro? What the fuck? I do, but... <laughs> Well, I'm one of the biggest haters on Twitch right now, man. <laughs> I'm one of the biggest haters on this shit, bro. I swear to God I am, man. <laughs>
Okay. Why are you wearing your shoes? <laughs> your shirt. To be clear, I didn't take his shoes. I don't know why he's not wearing shoes. These are all the things that this money's gonna go toward. Isn't this crazy? I can't even wrap my head around say, it. I feel like I could do visit. another five days. Do you think it's worth it? What's the verdict? You play the options. Her. Make tons of money. Keep tons of money you already made. Honestly, it's not worth staying in. Like, yeah. Jimmy, you set him up, bro. You knew. Oh, man. Come on, bro. She's not going to tell this nigga, come on, you can do it. Stay in there for more money. She's going to be like, come on, boy. Let me suck that dang. But that's what she going to say, bro. Come on, Jimmy. You knew that, nigga. <laughs> okay. Well, then let's push the money out. You knew that, bro. All right, Alex. Damn, the second you step up. on the red, it's over. This I can move all the up. money back and we can keep going. It's your decision. All right, bring it back in. Okay? Bring it back in. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh! Alex spent 45 days in the store and walked away with 450,000. Here's the thing. I know this is, this is probably way harder than any of us could even possibly imagine. I can only imagine, bro. I know it seems easy, he's just chilling in a grocery store, but there's really nothing to do, bro. And boredom is one of the most dangerous things on the planet. So is isolation. He had both of those. But can you imagine if in 10 years he's like, damn, bro, I wish I had $20,000 to get this new car. All he would have to do is stay here for two more days. But like, that's such a, like, that's a bad way of looking at it. But that's how my brain would think about it. I'm like, damn, bro, in the future, if I was like, bro, it'd be nice to have 50000 for a down payment on a, on a whatever and I don't have 50,000, I'd be like, fuck, if I only stayed in that bitch for five more days. Thousand dollars. <laughs> Can't That's... believe this happened. This... Oh, he's gonna get taxed. Nah. Tax calculator, North Carolina. So let's say this nigga made 450,000, okay? What is all these numbers, nigga? Just tell me how much he's gonna get taxed. Your estimated semi-monthly take-home pay is eleven thousand. Uh, boom. So let's take that calculator and let's put that number in. Okay, let's just type it in. Eleven thousand six hundred thirty-two. Okay, times twelve. No, that's not possible. Semi-monthly. Okay, times two. I'm dumb. Two hundred seventy-nine thousand dollars. Bro did all of that for two hundred seventy-nine thousand dollars, which is still a fuck ton of money. But the way he was dividing the money. He's going to put this much into the car, this much into the house, this much into the whatever. My nigga, you're going to have to pick and choose which ones is important to you now because you only have 279000 of that left. 180 is gone. This is freaking sick! Congratulations, Alex. Shout out to Albertson for helping us fill the shelves. You guys are amazing. I'm going to go find his shirt. Also, if you're wondering how we filmed this video because we blew up the earth earlier, it was actually on the moon the entire time. Watch the laser maze video if that's confusing. Oh, you don't have to pay tax on the moon. You don't have to pay tax on the moon. Nobody's conquered it yet. Bro, but as soon as people can conquer the moon, that's going to be a crazy space war. Imagine shooting space bullets. Feel me? Space bombs, nigga. Space grenade launchers. Space missiles. What? That's going to be a crazy time, bro. Hopefully, we don't ever get near that. Literally, bro. Humans have no business on other planets, my nigga. We're just going to ruin that planet. I'm not even trying to be funny or, or sad. It's just true. We're just going to fight over it and then ruin it. Space penis, I guess, bro. Imagine space nut. Yo, you think like, yo, that'd be crazy. Imagine if you nutted in space. Like how it really is just going to shoot forever. And then imagine if another space astronaut, right? Right? Look, imagine if another space astronaut is just floating into the abyss, bro, because he's on the same planet as you. And this shit hit him. Yo, that is a fight, my nigga. Like, you can't just get nutted on from long range without fighting niggas, bro. That's, I always say that personally. That's crazy. Yo, that's nuts. Oh, so you like the video. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah. You, you're going to like that one too, man. Go ahead, just. Bro, click the link. What the? Bro, that's what I be saying. Like,